Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Um, today we're going to be looking at a lower level unique uh, known as Venom Ward. Uh, Venom Ward is one of those odd uniques which has a very specific purpose. It does its very specific purpose well, but not a lot of people actually need the specific purpose that it is fulfilling. Um, as we go over it, you'll understand what I mean, and... Uh, we're also going to upgrade it as well, just for fun. So uh, the Venom Ward Breastplate is 138 defense. It is only level 20. It's a little high level for the main purpose that it should have been required for, which was uh, Andariel. Um, it, <laughs> it it's, doesn't really require very much, though, with 30 strength, does it? Um, it has a very nice 100% enhanced defense, but it does vary from 60 to 100%. Um, we have 15 to maximum poison resistance. And what does that mean? That means that when we put this on, our poison max resistance goes from 75% to 90%, which is pretty cool. Um, and uh, that's a really big bump in your maximum poison resistance. Um, we also have a massive, I mean, just absolutely massive 90% poison resistance, which means that when you put this armor on, even if you have a zero poison resistance, you will be at 90% in normal difficulty. Um, it also has a massive poison length reduction of 50% on top of that. So not only is it giving you 90% poison resistance, it is also giving you a massive 50% reduction in poison resistance. Uh, poison length, which is definitely very, very awesome. And then on top of that, it also gives you some poison length, uh, some light radius, two plus two light radius. Uh, the only variable on this armor is the ED, by the way. It can also be found in the Ethereal version with 206 defense, only 20 strength requirement, and the same level 20. Now, upgrading this um, is actually not a bad upgrade at all, and uh, it actually brings the defense up quite a nice little bump. Um, and we're going to go from uh, 138 defense, level uh, 20 with 30 strength, to 386 defense, 65 strength requirement, and level 30. As you can see, not a bad upgrade at all. Uh, the Ethereal version also can be upgraded uh, from 206 defense, 20 strength, level 20, to 600 defense, 55 strength, uh, and level 30. Not bad at all for those two upgrades. Um, I've, honestly, I feel like Venom Ward really does upgrade great quite well. The main problem with uh, Spirit with Venom Ward is that it just doesn't really um take any of the normal boxes that you would want for an item like this. And you might be asking, well, what am I talking about? Well, like, you know, it doesn't have lifesteal on it, like Bone Flash. Um, it doesn't have resistances on it. Um, it doesn't have, you know, uh, like open wounds or crushing blow. Uh, it doesn't have any of, like, the really nice modifiers. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's just one of those oddities that it doesn't quite do exactly what it's supposed to do. Um, which is, you know, be useful. Um, it, it, it does its own specific thing, which is increases your poison resistance, but there's not, like, so many poison-resistant monster or poison damage monsters in the game that you're super worried about this. Um, I mean, I can name them off the top of my head. And Dariel, obviously, is one of them. Act 2 difficulty does have a rather high amount of poison monsters. And then you also have Lilith, who is a, a pretty high poison damage monster. But uh, I don't know a lot of people that are using Venom Ward for Lilith. There's probably better options. But speaking of using Venom Ward for Lilith, if you were, you'd want to upgrade it to the Elite form. So uh, we're going to go from the Venom Ward Curios 386 defense, 65 strength, level 30, to the Venom Ward Great Hauberk 986 defense, 118 strength requirement with level 68. Interesting. Um, the Ethereal version also can be upgraded from a 600 defense, 55 strength, level 30, to 1,272 defense, 108 strength, level 68. Um, so it's rather interesting, in my opinion, um, this particular armor, because what would you use it for? Well, you would use it specifically for someone like Andariel. Um, now, there is a caveat that this armor actually fulfills. So mercenaries actually die to poison, whereas players don't. So if a player is poisoned, even if it's the most virulent poison in the world, they only go down to 1 HP and they sit there. 
if a mercenary gets poisoned, the monster, the mercenary will die to the poison. So if he goes down uh, to zero, he will die. Unlike a player who, who sits at one and will not fall to zero from poison damage. Um, so putting this on a low-level mercenary can actually save his life very nicely uh, versus a lot of poison damage effects that would otherwise kill him. Um, you guys who have uh, lost a mercenary to poison damage before, I know exactly what I'm talking about. He will even die in town. You will, like, finish fighting, say, Cold Worm the Burrower, who has a pretty nasty poison. You'll go to town and you forget to click on Atma, and literally within a few seconds your mercenary is dead. And, uh, and armors like this can specifically counter that poison uh, entirely. So if you were to put this on a mercenary, you would notice that the mercenary will literally just be super duper duper tanky versus poison. Um, just one little click there, and now my mercenary has 90% poison resistance in, uh, in hell difficulty even, uh, which is freaking a lot. Now, granted, it doesn't really give anything else, and that's part of the problem. It doesn't have any increased attack speed. It doesn't have any crushing blow. It doesn't have any open wounds. It doesn't have any deadly strike. It doesn't have any, like, chance to proc effects, which I feel like could be pretty cool if it had, like, a chance to proc effect on it. Maybe something re revolving around poison, since that's the theme. Um, let's take a look over at Silo's Pen real quick, and let's see where we could potentially find this if we wanted to hunt it down, shall we? So since this is a relatively low-level armor, we're going to assume about 100% magic find. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's do 75% magic find. That sounds about more realistic. And then we're going to grab the uh, Venom Award. Uh, so it looks like best probability for a normal difficulty character to get your hands on this is Neelothak, 1 in 866. Uh, it's actually not bad at all. And um, Grand Visor of Chaos, Infector of Souls, Lord Decease, all have pretty good op chances as well. That's interesting. Shank the Overseer, uh, Eldritch the Rectifier, Doc Farron, uh, Piddle Skin, Thresh Socket, those are all pretty good options as well. And then as for bosses, specifically for bosses, we are looking at uh, Normal Diablo, 1 in 120. Uh, Nightmare and Daryl is not really a good choice for an item that you're trying to get in normal difficulty. Uh, so it looks like normal Diablo, really, that's your best bet for this item if you really wanted to farm it. That's a pretty good uh, probability, 1 in 120. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. Um, even when we are warding against Venom, and as always, keep watching.